Facebook drama. Facebook drama. Oh shit, she's going outside and so much Facebook drama. Loud, have mercy. There she is, Facebook drama. Oh, I'm finna fire up some deliciousness. I'm finna fire it up. I'm firing it up in the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. That's made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. I'm gonna make some pork soup, a little oil in there. Working with a little bit of pork. A little bit more fat content than the foreign guy would like, but these Filipinos love that fat. You know, I'm rocking out a big bowl of vegetables. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Oh shit, I think it just melted the side of that bowl. Folks, I want to thank you for joining me on today's cooking show. And without further ado, oh! It's going down. Oh shit, making a mess already. Look at that pork in there. See if I got the right angle on the dangle. I think I do. With a lemon, garlic. No, that's a lemon pepper sauce. I'm hitting hard with a lemon pepper sauce. Look at that. Coming in here with a little chili pepper. Focus, focus, focus. Hit with that chili pepper. Oh yeah, that's on time right there, my friends. Got the vegetables in there now. Put a little water to it. Put the, uh, the lid. I don't know what the stuff is. Man, you a good prep chef. Prep chef, you prepped it. Folks dropping in two of them pork cubes. Probably go with three, but we said five. We just, we, we, all we got is two cubes. Going in the hopper, baby. We're not that rich to put a... Uh, yeah, if, if we were rich, we would put three of them cubes in there, but we're not rich. I'll put them over there in the drink. Get them over in the drink. Folks got a fresh bottle of Jim Bean. And I got cherry Dr. Pepper. Baby, would you make me a Jim Beam and Cherry Dr. Pepper, please? You don't need that, just start pouring it, baby. Just start pouring it. Pour, 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 hoop! Oh. And slow pour, slow pour that Cherry Dr. Pepper. Don't pour it fast. Slow pour it down the side of that Yeti cup, baby. I don't want no flat, flat drink. Slow pour it, baby. Let's see what you got. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly, baby, slowly. Easy, greasy. Easy. There you go, baby. That's enough. That's enough right there. Jim Beam and Cherry Dr. Pepper. Whew. Jim Beam. Cherry Dr. Pepper. Down the hat. Let's, let's take a taster. Marcos. Cano. 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 The taste on that is just absolutely delicious. Now, I usually drink a Jim Beam and Coke, like a Jack and Coke with a lime. But that Cherry Dr. Pepper with that Jim Beam, I'm here to tell you, it just adds an oak, like an extra level of oaky flavor to it. I highly recommend it. If you ever cook for Filipinas, they're going to complain, bitch, protest. They're gonna watch your ass. And if you put anything other than magic syrup and soy sauce on their meal, they're just gonna fucking throw their hands up in the air, complain that they're not gonna eat it. And it's raining outside. It's fucking coming a monsoon out there. I don't care. I'm gonna cook the way I want to cook, and they have one option. Their option is to love it. So, I'm making this pork soup. I'm mixing some cornmeal and with a little milk. They're complaining and screaming and crying. I don't care. If you don't eat, that just means there's more for me in the morning with leftovers. 
the folks, my pork soup is going to be so delicious with that cornmeal, a little bit of milk in there. I mean, I'm talking absolutely magnifique. But if you ever try to cook for Filipinas, just understand, you can't be creative. Do you want to keep complaining about my soup? I'll tell you what, you want to eat this? Here you go, folks. This is what they want to eat right here. Eat this shit from 7-Eleven. Okay? Or this right here. Go ahead, baby. Here. There you go. I told you, Marcos, I'm eating this because I don't want your cook. I just told you that. Suitcase. <laughs> Badima says I haven't been to church since I married my last wife. I said, hey, go to YouTube and type in, you know, christening a baby in the Philippines. And I was up in a church like what, two years ago in her village. But she swears up and down, I haven't been in a church since I married my fourth wife. Baby. How can a 48-year-old dog's memory be better than yours? Huh? Because I told, I told these two ladies, folks, I told them, I said, listen. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell them right in front of you. Sunday morning, we're going to church. I told these ladies I'm taking them to church. I'm gonna tell you this one here, this one here playing on Facebook. She needs to go to church. Me, me, you, you need to open this your one. Room. Needs to go to church and confess her you, sins. You do like that. You do like that. You go in the church. You do like that in the road. You do like that. You confess your sins. Baby, you better call the priest. Blah, blah, blah. You get a parrot award. Oh, that one over there, you get a parrot award too. You just, you just talking in gibberish. We're going on, but you're the worst. <laughs> Won't you take a look at that right there? Oh my goodness! My goodness! That's some of the most delicious. Look at that. Oh my goodness. My goodness, these ladies. This is why they love me. If you can cook and dance, that's all you need to do. Sometimes I amaze myself, my friends. Take a look at that. My goodness. Ladies, you are the luckiest Filipinas in the Philippines. Yeah, we're lucky. We're lucky. Lucky. I'm going to be my Ladies, are you excited about eating my food tonight? Yeah. Be honest. Oh, you can't eat Did Daniel ever cook a beautiful meal for you? Yeah. Get him, baby. Hey. hey. Get it, 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 get it,
unless you got buns, huh? <laughs>